In case you guys ever want to do a ghetto test on a head, just balance that bitch straight up and down on its fucking ass and fill it up full of water and look straight up inside of these fucking combustion holes. You can see, and it's real tough with the camera shit. Then that right valve, at about seven o'clock, there's a drip. That one's wet. That bitch is wet. So, ain't none of them sealing great. Ain't running like right through like they're bent. But them bitches definitely got some miles on them. A few moments later. Okay, well after that ghetto leak down, I figure I'd show you guys what we ended up seeing. This is in a couple of different stages of cleanup. Like this one is just after a bath. Um, you can see that mating surface for the exhaust is pretty sad I mean that that is that is burnt up um, this next one is in a what second stage of cleanup I just knocked the back side off of it to get you know as much air past there as I can and when I clean it I don't want the carbon contaminants back up in there but you can pretty much see that you know that that valve seat is not smooth um, this one is in a little bit better stage of cleanup. No, I don't clean the entire ports out. I do make sure right underneath the valve is good. Um, more air you can sneak past there, the quickest the better. Um, port and polish is completely different than actually you know, rebuilding a head. But you can see that that surface is just sad in comparison to how nice this, you know, leading edge of that looks in comparison to how burnt down that exhaust side is that is it, it's just pretty sad this one is in just a little bit better stage of polish but and those valve seats are pretty well hashed and you know when you guys hear the you know you're you have burnt valves everybody just wants to go out and buy new valves and slap them in well that's the mating surface you're just slapping them into if you think that's going to seal you're smoked i mean that's just the way it works and again, we have a couple of different stages of, uh, you know, cleaning the valves as well. Um, this has just been taken out and given a bath. And you can see that all of that cheese, look at all that weight on there. That's taking up the space that air is supposed to travel past in the nanosecond that it opens and closes. So I knock all the cheese off front and back. I mean, that's, a, that's an awful lot of weight in, you know, unburnt carbon deposits. And, you know, that surface is, is no freaking better. It's burnt down pretty good, too. You get to one that's a little bit, you know, that I cleaned up. Got the cheese off of it. Cleaned it up a bunch. But you can still see some pretty, pretty major pitting. Um, and I you know, cleaned up the forward side of it. Got the weight of the cheese off of it. But, you know, now I... Just so gotta put a you know a cut on the valves and a cut on the seat, polish that stuff up nice, and then it'll look a lot better. You can see from the intake valve, um, get a good contrast. I mean that's pretty smooth. Sure, it's got some miles on it, but you know intakes typically don't burn unless they're over tightened or bent. So that's what we're looking at from that ghetto leak down. It's actually a lot worse than you would have expected. This, uh, Exhaust seats and the exhaust valves are pretty freaking hammered.